How you doing YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of a yeah, pastry sour up in this piece, maybe fruited sour. Well, it's got lactose, pastry sour. This be uh, Civil Belt Brewing. Uh, this is their sh Snow on Monroe. This is a blackberry and black currant sour with lactose. This comes courtesy of my boy, the home brewing dad. Go check him out on the old Instagrams. Save me off a bunch of beers. This is one of them. And uh, that sucker jumped out of the can. I think you better warn me against that, maybe. I don't remember. Um, but we caught it. We'll see what's what. Label-wise, one of my, probably my most favorite new label that I've seen in quite some time. Um, just something about it I really dig. It's like a, it's like a, a kind of techno-y version of the pinstriping that Burlington does, and I just really dig it. So, yeah. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's all they have on here. Date on this, I do not know. And uh, we're talking about a blackberries, black currant. I love currant in my beers. Lactose and a sour. So what are we off to a start here? Strawberry quick head, rich berry color, as far as the body goes. It looks the part of one of these kind of fruited Berliner style pastry jammers. Let's get a nose. Very much organic. Uh, blackberry and currant on the nose. It doesn't get overly sweet. Uh, that lactose is playing a very small role so far, at least. Can't really get it aromatically. And it just has this kind of, like, kind of almost, I wouldn't say spot on, like, fresh fruit added Berliner kind of thing going on, but closer than you'd expect based off of, you know, having the word lactose involved. Not a big tartness or sourness in the beer. It really just comes off as a soft, organic kind of blackberry currant kind of combination and an under sweetened under ripened kind of way just dive right in cheers six percent alcohol by volume i'm gonna tell you what this is delicious that's delicious and it's delicious for a very specific reason it drinks like fruit juice but it's still a beer let me rephrase that. That's like a lot of beers I say are kind of not beer. I say those kind of things. The way, more specifically, the blackberry. But the currants are involved. Blackberry is big. There's fleshiness. There is uh, skinniness and her seediness in here. There's this like tannic kind of thing. You crunch on a blackberry and you crunch on one of those teeny itty bitty seeds. You get this little kind of bittering tannic kind of thing going on. And that's in here. So it gives you this big organic kind of thing then the current kind of falls through. It's probably a secondary player here. That blackberry is really taking the role uh, of the fruit portion of the show of this beer. But you get this soft kind of, I wouldn't even call it Berliner. It's just a base kind of kettle sour. Soft tartness. And honestly, it really doesn't really come off like crazy big in the lactose end of things. Oh, okay. Well, sorry about that if I forget to edit this. My dog, Taco, I just heard him through the, uh, through the door, started making puking sounds. And nothing make you move faster than hearing your dog doing puking sounds. It's a little bit after seven. They usually eat around seven o'clock and he's got a sensitive tummy. So he gets nauseous if he doesn't eat on time. Anyway, back to this beer. <sighs> I just think the way that fruited portion comes off is epically fine. Not even epically fine. Ep actually, epically fine in a very sexy kind of way. Um, but it's the way it kind of marries with the beer, where it actually is a beer still, um, as opposed to um, just like fruit on fruit on fruit. And the way this lactose adds is just a softener and a sweetness. It adds a sweetness, but it's a soft sweetness and isn't heavy handed by any stretch of the imagination. It reminds me of like organic fruit juice beer in a very fun way. I think it's delicious. Very tasty beer. Surprised it's even 6%. Doesn't come off big like that. Just pleasure. Fun brewery. I liked everything I had from these guys. So thank you very much, dude, for sending these off. Very fun. Um, yeah. That blackberry is the start of the show. The beer is still involved. The lactose is very minimal. It adds a subtle kind of soft sweetness and mouthfeel kind of component to it. Not overly tart or sour, I'd call it more of a, I don't even call it, I guess it'd be a kettle sour in the most lightest sense of the word. 
done and done. Is it one of the better fruited sours that I've had as of late? Yes. Is it Mount Rushmore set of snow? But it's quite tasty stuff. Um, vague availability on this, no idea. Let me know what's what people in the old, I keep forgetting their name, I don't know, Silly Built Universe, and leave you with if you're like, well, we like this beer. If you like fruited beers, but you don't want those crazy over the top lactose jammers, and you just like really well made fruit forward beers that are focusing on the beer still being present and the fruit being meaningful, you will love this. If you like fruit juice, like organic squeezed, you know, pulpy fruit juice, you'll like this. So there you go. A review in the box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of City Built right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.